Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome, Ashley Vanfield. Welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I'm broadcasting, I heard, in one of your favorite cities, Dallas, Texas. It is! I emigrated to the United States via Dallas, Texas. Well, it's a great place. You know it's a whole nother country, so you, you can't... It is. You are so right, Valder. It's a country unto its own. <laughs> it is. Well, we are so honored that you came to Dallas, and we're so honored that tonight we're going to get to see Live Rescue. I am so excited, and I'm honored to be able to tell you about it. It really is a terrific show, and we're thrilled that it's going up live tonight. That's right. It's on A&E. So tell us about Live Rescue. What are we going to see? Because you're a veteran journalist, so this has got to be good. So I have been covering live news for 30 years, and I have never seen a production like this. It is so intense and it is so complicated. It takes more than 40 people in a live control room to pull this all together. We are in seven different, different jurisdictions with more than 30 different cameras covering the action. And what you're gonna see is not completely unlike what live PD viewers have been watching for the last two and a half years. Um, it is an embedded process whereby the cameras follow the first responders as they do their work in real time. Now, this docu-series, it, it, it looks at the EMTs, and what other people will it, will it show us? So, where Live PD follows police officers, this program, Live Rescue, is not only going to follow police officers, because they're often first on the scene as first responders, but we are also following Fire and Rescue, EMS, EMTs, paramedics, and any other agencies that arrive on an emergency situation. So there's this incredibly coordinated effort um, in a very chaotic environment because no two emergencies are alike. So it's incredible to watch not only the heroics and the bravery of these people who run into burning buildings, I don't do that, but it's also amazing to see how fast they work together and then delineate duties so that you know the emergency can be tended to as fast and as efficiently as possible. I know they're saving lives, Ashley, but what can we communicate with the viewer rather than just being voyeurs of TV? I think we need to be actors, mm -hmm. and when I say actors, have action in our own lives. TV mm -hmm. teaches. It does, and in this respect, what we're so happy about with regard to this program is that the light is firmly affixed on the heroics of these remarkable people. They are not only civic employees, um, but they're like the military, you know, and they deserve a lot of respect. I don't know that they have been given the respect that they're due. I think we see an ambulance and we just assume they race to the location, load someone up and take them off. That is not what happens. They are on the front lines. They are in harm's way all throughout their shift. And so this is a lucky process where, whereby we're able to highlight all of that, not just the ambulance racing by, not just the sirens, but the work of the actual person and what that person faces as he or she makes an instantaneous decision to risk his or her life to save another. I'm so glad that you said that. Recently, I was at an event, and people were having bad behavior, bad adult behavior, you know, where we laugh at it. Uh -huh. And someone said, oh, if anything happened, just call 911. And I think we've gotten so comfortable with those people, we think that they're automatically going to do their job. But this is a serious job they have. It is. It is. And quite frankly, I'm not sure that a lot of our um, viewing audience will be aware of, of what the reaction is from the public sometimes when the first responders get there. Sometimes it's hard to tell what uniform is what. And so sometimes they're treated as adversaries. I mean, they're there to help you. They're there to rescue you. But oftentimes they are in a position where they have to defend themselves and have to try to uh, diplomatically negotiate the reason that they're there while at the same time the clock is ticking and the crisis is looming. And so it's incredible to watch sort of the diplomacy of it, the navigation of it, uh, the emergency aspect of it, and the life-saving minutes that, that tick by. And so I'm really thrilled that for once this is going to be an unvarnished and raw look at what they face, and, and I say it often and early, um, all throughout their shift.
Ashley Banfield tonight, live rescue on A and E. Ashley, you got to come back because I got to talk about that stellar career you. Oh, Valder, it's really good to talk to you, and please give my love to the folks of Dallas. I miss it so much there. Well, we're big fans of yours, so continue doing what you're doing, and we'll be watching on A and E Live Rescue, hosted by at veteran journalist Ashley Banfield. Thank you so much for gracing the Valder BB Show, Ash. Thanks, Valder. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.